Hey everyone, Kyle once again, aka Jurassic Godzilla fan. Welcome back to a, another movie review. It's been quite a bit since I did my last, my last movie review. Well, which I remember, which I recall, my last uh, movie review was um, was Beyond, was Beyond the Poseidon Adventure. And since I reviewed both these films already, the, ori the, the original classic and the the sequel which is uh, I said it's a, I say it's an under is an underrated sequel. So I decided to do to finish to finish off I decided to do the 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 2006 remake Poseidon. Um I know there was there's a 2005 two-part TV mini series called the the Poseidon Adventure starring um Adam Baldwin, Rick Hauer, C. Thomas Howell, and Steve Gettenberg, and Peter Weller. Um, I have no, I have no interest in seeing it because you know, I'm not, I'm not interested like in TV movie, like a, like a, t a TV remakes. You know, if there's, they do a TV remake of it, I have no interest in it. You know, so, so that's uh, so that's why, so that's why I'm not gonna. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen it, so I, I have, so I don't, so I don't care, so I won't care to see it. So, so I'm, so I'm just gonna skip right into this, to the 2006, which to me, also another thing, if it's, if it's a TV remake though, I don't, I don't count that, you know. For me personally, I just don't count it, you know. To me, I think this is more of a, tr more of a true remake than that, you know. Like, you know, like the like TV movies of uh, Carrie or The Shining, you know. Those 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 ones are not I would say they are not good whatsoever you know but I don't or there was also a TV uh, of of Piranha you know 1995 those I don't count I count like like the 2013 remake of Carrie or the 2010 remake of Piranha you know but you get the idea and the 2000, there's the 2005 remake of Poseidon Adventure I don't count those you know I consider them one of the theoretical versions of the remakes that are, are the true remake to me, you know, but so this is this is this is the two, this is the 2006 remake. This this is called this is this is called Poseidon. Um, released May 12, 2006. Um, it did it, it opened at number two though, and did it very poorly in the U.S. You know, it's an it's a, it's, a, it's another it's a, this film was another big budget box office bomb, you know. You know, in the in the in the in the U.S. it was a fail. It, it failed at the box office. Made like sixty million, six, sixty-seven million in the U.S. You know, on a budget of one hundred sixty million total worldwide, it made like one hundred and one hundred eighty-one million worldwide. Now it did fairly well, much better overseas though. But 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 still but but, but still it's it's, it's considered a box office bomb. And it did also did pretty decent in, in DVD sales, made an additional 19 million, bringing the total to 201. So, sorry, this has been. So, it's still it's but still, uh, not counting DVD sales, you know, it's still considered a box a big budget box of a bomb, you know. So. But this, and 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 it has met with negative reception as well. You know, it, it was given negative reviews. It has a 5.6 on IMDb, and has like um, what it? it has it has a 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. You know, it's yeah, which means I, which means even um, if this 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 has a higher rating than this film. To me, this is this this one doesn't this one does not deserve a 4.4. You know, this is this is a 4.4. To me, it does it should be more higher than this though. But 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 compared to the original, which has a 7.1 and a much um and a 87 percent on Rotten Tomato on IMDb and 87 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, you know, that deserves it. This though, I like it as I like it. Do I like it or hate it? I'm mixed about it. You know, I give it I give this like a mixed 50-50. 50-50 so-so, you know. But on the um, um, but it also, but despite all this the, being the uh, U.S. box office failure and the negative reception, though, however, it was it was nominated for Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, but um, it lost to uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the effects in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's the Dead Man's Chest, you know. So, but at least at least it was worried enough to get an Academy Award nomination, though. 
and I think it also held the the, the Guinness uh, held held a um, a Guinness World Record for the most de uh, detailed uh, CG model, you know. But understand because like the details, you know, the stuff the, for the ship, the inside of the ship, you know, and the effects, you know, on, on the weight of the, the water capsizing it, you know. Um. And also the um. There's also there was like a two di also a two disc edition a double disc edition but I haven't seen a two di I haven't seen a two disc edition anyway so but um is there anything else um but it also but it, and it was it was also a nom it was also nominated for our Golden Razzie Award for the worst remake or ripoff but it didn't win though yeah maybe maybe or maybe not though but do, 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 I've 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 seen a lot I've seen a lot worse remakes than this though. But and since then also it's also this this has also gained a cult following. That's another positive thing about this film. It gained a cult following. You know, it gained a cult fall it gained a cult following and was a prey it, it was praised for its realistic of use of CGI for the ship tur uh, turning uh, going upside down, you know. But it was hit by the wave, you know. So But anyway, again to again yeah, I speak more on that. Um this is directed by this is directed by uh with a well-known director, uh, Wolfgang Peterson, who directed The Perfect Storm and Troy. And um, Perfect Storm, I thought was okay. Um, Troy, I didn't pretty much didn't care for with uh, with Brad Pitt. Although I did like the other films he's directed. I I I enjoy In the Line of Fire with Clint with Clint Eastwood and John Malkovich. I enjoy Outbreak with just with Dustin Hoffman and Morgan Freeman. And I also, I, and I also really enjoy Air Force One with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman. I enjoy that film a lot. So, so there's, 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 there's a few films I, that I've enjoyed, but from director Wolfgang Peterson. Um, would I consider this one better than The Perfect Storm or Troy? Maybe slightly, because I didn't care. I'm not a fan. I'm not personally. I'm not a fan of Troy. Or even though I thought The Perfect Storm was a decent, okay film, you know, but. Do I like this slightly a bit better than those two films? Maybe by just that much, though. But yeah, so that's the, so this is directed by Wolfgang Peterson. Um, and this, this, uh, the cast it stars it stars a uh, Josh Lucas, um, which you have only seen him from um, Hulk, and I think he was in um, was it what was another film? I, I know I know there was another film he did, he started in. You've seen Josh Lucas in in the 2003 film Hulk. Um, he was also in um, A Beautiful Mind. Uh, the, uh, that's not, that's the film I was wearing. Sweet Home Alabama. He was also in that film too. Uh, Glory Roll, Glory Roll, uh, Road, J. Edgar. So he's been in quite a few stuff, and and it also stars uh, Kurt Russell. It stars Kurt Russell and uh, Richard Drivers from Jaws. Um, other cast members, you have, um, uh, Kevin Dillon from, uh, from the 1980 Blob remake, Matt Dillon's brother. Um, Mike Vogel from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake as the character Andy. Um, Andre, um, Andre Brower as the, who plays the, who's the captain in this film. Andre Brower, he's been in the films, um, he was in the film Frequency... Uh, maybe he he started he started the new comedy show um, Brooklyn Nine Nine as the police chief. Um, and also it also stars a Fre also um Fr uh, Freddie Rodriguez who's in grind who's in also in Grindhouse Planet Terror. I enjoy Planet Terror. Um, so there's 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 some sizable cast. Um, now, what was the other stuff like? I said, like I said, fifty-fifty on it. One of the positive things about this film, I like Kurt Russell and I like Richard Drivers. Josh Lucas, I think personally, I would have been better if it, if Kurt Russell was the leader to get it out of the ship. You know, you know, I just wish it was the other way. I wish it was the other way around. You know, Josh Lucas, I just think he. I think we compare. We if you compare, if you compare to the original, Josh Lucas. Doesn't even touch. Doesn't even is nowhere touches the performance that Gene Gene Hackman did. You know. Um. 
which yeah, so that's a, that's a that one of the dumb slides. I didn't care. I didn't care for much for Josh Lucas though. But the one I thought I was like, I thought which was the other way around. I thought which Kurt Russell was the leader, you know, who wants to get out, who wants to get out of the ship, you know. Um, I did, but I did like I like Kirk Russell and I did like I like Richard I like Richard Drivis. Um, uh, well, jo, um, Kirk Russell, he's um he's on he's on the ship. Uh, he has his with his daughter with has his daughter with him with her with her fiance played by Mike Ball, uh, Balgo. Kurt Russell's character, he used to, um, he used to be, um, he, he used to be a, a fireman, he said, and he also, he was, and he also be, used to be, um, uh, the mayor of New York, he, he was also, he used to, he used to be at the mayor of New York, but not, but not no more, um, and all the other characters have uh, Richard Drivis, who is the guy, um, ne- plays the guy, plays the guy Nelson, Who's an architect and is also finally, which I thought was funny, funny really enough that um, his the character he plays he's he's a, 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 a he's a gay you know because because he was because you know he was on he's on his phone he's just calling his um his uh boyfriend you know he's like hi it's me you know she call me um, at midnight and he's like he was, he was also explain more that he was like gay when he was sitting at the dinner table saying you never he he's met someone you know. Never thought it could happen to him, you know. He never meant to, he never meant to hurt me, you know. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was I thought that was kind of like a funny funny character that Richard Richard Drivers plays, and I li- and I liked Richard Drivers too, you know. I've always been a I've always been a fan of Richard Drivers ever since ever since Jaws, you know. Um, and then and um. So, so it gets to, it gets to, you know, the, the same premise as the original Poseidon. So it's New Year's Eve. It's the, um. So at night, you know, they're, cel- they're celebrating um, New Year, New Year's Eve, you know, the countdown. Um, Richard, uh, Richard Drivis, you know, he's a, he's out, he's outside. He's like, uh, call, I was on his phone. Has no message, so he throws it, throws, throws it in the water. And he was he was he was he was, he was about to commit suicide. He was about to jump off the he was about to jump overboard until he sees the the big tidal the big tidal wave, you know. So he makes a smart idea to run back inside, you know. <laughs> um. So and but you know the same thing. Try to try to turn sideways against it, but it fails. And and of course the the, the, the whole the, the whole of course you know the whole ship turns over. You know, I'm basically explaining the same thing as the original. The ship turns over, but Instead of you know, most of it is done. So how the ship turns over is all mostly CGI. You know, how how the ship turns over. You know, that's what it is. That's that's what how how it holds against world, how holds against world record because you know use, uses of the uses of the most CGI models. You know, so 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 if everything turns upside down, mostly CGI. You know, um. Uh, and it's also, the also kind of the same thing as I was using the original, like the the kid the the the, the kid who's uh, stuck on top of the piano. It's like how um, the original when uh, Pamela Subaru was stuck up there, they they make a net, to, they jump down, you know. Same thing here. Um, only only this time, you know, it was like slight, you know, the captain he didn't die immediately when the when the tidal when the tidal wave hit. He's still alive, Andre Andre Brower. He tells him to, to Kurt Russell to stay here. You know your daughter is probably dead though. But Kurt Russell he wants to pursue to keep on fighting. Wants to fight, find his daughter. So they all follow. Um, Josh, they all, they all um, Kurt Russell, Richard Drivis, um, oh, um, um, let's go to the woman, uh, Mag, uh, Maggie, um, do we play by uh, J- Jasheen? Jacinda Barrett and her son, and her son, and uh, Freddie Rodriguez, who's a who's a waiter like Ryan McDowell was in the original. Um, so they get the the enter the kitchen. You know, the problem also another they, they get to the kitchen, you know, and also what the thing is though, this film was like about. This film, this film was like is, is this film was ninety eight minutes, you know, and it's. That's not thing. I felt it was too. It was just too short. You know how they went to the. They went to the ship. How they went go to the ship. You know, it was just felt it was way too short. 
compared to the original film, which is which is over two hours, you know, they, they prolong the jour their journey going through the entire ship, you know. But this, but here is just um, it was just, it was filtered to the to show. They just got to, you know, reach one end to the other, you know, pretty quickly, you know, if you know what I mean. But um, so they get to the kitchen, they get to the the elevator shaft, you know, there's an open uh, door up there, so they make a small bridge and they lift lift each other up to to the door, you know. Um, and Ritter Drivers, you know, he. He's 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 standing up, giving people the boot, you know, up uh, up to the to the door, and um, he um, he almost almost kind of falls, and he he's thinking he uh, uh thinking uh Fred Rodriguez, he's like, thank you, gorgeous, and he tells him, my name's Valentine, and Richard Driver's like Valentine, I love that name. Yeah, that's why that that was kind of funny that Richard Driver plays uh, his character who's gay, you know, <laughs> but um. They switch around because he wants them to go. Uh, Fred Rodriguez, he wants him to go first. And there's another, there's another uh, shake, and then they both, they're both Fred, Rod Fred Rodriguez hang, is hanging on for dear life, you know, holding on to uh, Rick Jarvis's leg, you know. And uh, above, way up above, there's an elevator that's coming loose, and Josh Lucas he tells Richard Jarvis to take, uh, to kick him, to kick, to kick him off, or he, or they'll lose both of them. And he said, Richard Driver says he's very sorry to have to do it, though. And it's kind of like, it's like a similar death to Ryan Mc, how Ryan McDowell was, his death, you know. But instead of an elevator shaft, you know, and being impaled, you know, as he falls down, he gets impaled by this debris below, and the elevator falls. It was much different than the original, of course. And he just, he just falls, they're, they're in like a, one of the, the, the chimney, one of the, you know, the, you know, one of the chimneys of the ship, you know. He falls down the shaft in the water, and it, and it blows up, you know. But 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 you get the point. This is kind of the similar. It's a similar death that Ryan, Ryan, Ryan McDowell did in the original. You know, the only thing is though. Yeah, only thing is though. What, the only thing in the original. I just wish I wish Ryan McDowell he could have lived. You know, but because yeah, I because I like Ryan McDowell. But so but so so the so Frank Rodriguez's death is 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 similar how Ryan McDowell was in the original. How fell, falling down a shaft though, except 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 it's except it's an elevator shaft. Um, so as they keep on going on, Walls is going on, um, in the, di back in the, in the, the, the disco room, you know, where Kurt Russell's, Kurt Russell's daughter and, and, uh, and um, Chris, her, his, her fiancé, he, he, his, his leg gets stuck in some debris, and also when, um, uh, there's, there's a girl that, uh, named Elena, which, um, uh, Frey, uh, Frey Rodriguez, the, the, uh, uh, Valentine, he helped. He helped her get stole away on the ship. You know, trying to get back to see his younger brother. You know, he he. So he he helped her stole away. Uh, be sneak onto the ship. Basically, you know. So she's uh, she's she was also she was also um. She's also in the room too. So he, he tries to grab um. She tries to grab one of the pipes, and uh, Kevin Dillon as Lucky Lucky Larry. He's still he's still alive. And they and they help uh, pull this thing up, this thing up, you know, to, so that uh, Chris, Mike Vogel, uh get out of it, and then the rest meet up with the rest of the group. So, um, so they all they're all together, and they make way to the to the hallway, which is upside down. Um, they they climb on through. Um, an, el an elevator which is stuck on each side, which got stuck on each side, so they climb through there. Well, each uh, most of them climb, climb the uh, rest of it to the to the to the other side, and and uh, Kevin Dillon, you know, being being a being being a jerk, you know, to, to Kurt Russell, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, you 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 know, former mayor, you know, but you're not the boss anymore. You quit, and if I recall correctly, you couldn't even hang on to your wife. And he was—he was he was, he was about to punch him, but there's like, no, you can go ahead, knock yourself out. And as Kevin Dillon, he's trying to get across, he drops his uh, liquor, small liquor container, and and they hear there's a noise like a, and Kevin Kevin Dillon's like, hey, he's like, hey, who's shooting at us? I thought that okay, I thought that was like a funny line. He says, hey, who's shooting at us? And then. Then a, then a freaking N, uh, CGI, yeah, CGI engine falls falls on top of him, 
and 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 um, oil or gasoline leaks leaks into the water and sparks uh, ignite it, burst into flames. Um, then Josh Lucas find has find a way and knows to get to the other side. So he takes a a water hose, dives into the water when it's on a fire still. So he climbs to, so he swims over to the other side and makes a a um a, a life rope so that um. Caressel and his daughter, you know, just a swing towards the other side, you know. And all that has happened, the, uh, the, the captain and the rest, of the people, are they're still trapped, are trapped in the in the ballroom. And while the windows, the windows break and all the war floods, they all they all they all die. And so they have no choice but to press on. They're the only ones left, so they're looking for an exit. So they go through up up uh, a vent a ventilator a ventilator shaft. The, um, the 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 grid on top, you know, like it's stuck. So they use um, Elena's cross to unscrew to, to unscrew the the screws, and they enter this uh big chamber, which there's the there's the, the, there's a door that will that won't open unless it's unless the the place is, the the room is flooded, no water pressure. So they get through that and they sw they swim underwater towards you know another lobby. But um, Elena, she uh, her clothing gets stuck on some wire and she panics and she hits her head in a on a piece of concrete and that kills her. Um, and as the the girl, the girl that Richard uh, Richard Drivers, you know, she he felt far more sorry for it because she because she told him the story that he. That she stole away. She stole away in the ship to see to get to see her, his little brother. You know, so he feels he feels sad for that that she's that she's dead, and so they they continue on and they get to another lobby, which was by a flat bunch of dead dead bodies. So it was caused by a flash fire. Um, they they, they found the way, but it's flooded. It's too far, so they have to search for another way. And there's there's another explosion. Well, the the bow which was flooded. It, t it it's been tipped so all the water runs down the other side, which clears which which clears their way. Um, but Josh Lucas and uh, and Maggie, because uh, his son's his uh, Maggie's son ran off somewhere, which I don't know how why he, how he wandered off. So they go and search for him while the rest can make their way to the engine room. Um. They they go they go into the engine room and uh, Nelson Richard Drivers he opens up the, the 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 small door that for for to the propeller shaft but the door opens up in his face and there's a tremendous bunch of air you know because it's, it's in reverse all the air all of, all the air is is uh is just flies right into the room and he he gets like it, he gets he gets like this burst of air right in his face and he just fall and he fall, and he falls down. Um, so, so, um, uh, Caruso, he tells, uh, Chris, you know, the way is to, to turn off, tries to turn off the, the propellers down the, down the ladder about hundred some feet of water or so, but it's way too far, so the, the one person will have like to sacrifice themselves because they can only swim all the way to there, and that's it, and they can't, they don't have enough breath to swim back, so, um, Chris, he he wanted to go though, but his uh, her her fiance uh, his fiance gets upset though, cause, but Kurt Russell he does it he does it anyway, cause he you know he wanted he I I know what we were going th going through his head you know, cause he just he wanted he wants to make his daughter happy by being with his fiance, cause he wanted uh, wanted to marry her you know, so he ma so he makes a sacrifice. So he makes a sacrifice and he runs out. He runs out of breath, you know, before he switches the reverse button on for the propellers and he drowns. Which I thought was a kill point. Which I was just said. I wish it was the other way around. I wish it was a Josh Lucas and not Kurt Russell because I like Kurt Russell, you know. So I wish he was. I wish he was the leader, you know. Um. And all that. Um. Josh Lucas. He he finds he finds the kid and, and they head head back to the engine room. Um, so, so the, 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 the propellers are reversed, and now instead of blowing, went, uh, air in, it gets, it's sucking the air out of the room. So he get so he, so Josh Lucas, he gets this, um, gas, this large gas tank and throws it in, but it gets, but it gets stuck, so he pushes, he pushes it back in, it explodes, 
and they get into the propeller shaft and they jump out. And they get into the, to the life raft and the rest of the ship it turns all um, turns up. It turns it turns it turns not upside down anymore, but it turns the right way again. But then it's then it sinks down CGI land, you know. Um, and then I, I did, but another, another possible thing, I did like that piece. Of, I did like that piece of music as the ship was sinking, you know, da 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 da, da you know, that pe that that that, that little piece of music as the ship was sinking, you know. Uh, music by Klaus ba Badelt Bad, I don't know how to pronounce the the name, you know. Okay, but uh, I did I did like I did like that I did like that piece of, I did like that piece of music as the ship was sinking, you know. I think that I think that I think that was that same piece of music as the as the ship t was, was turned upside down when it got struck by the tidal wave. So the the fire flare and the rest and the rescue choppers come and save them, and that's the end of the movie. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm I'm fifty fifty on I'm I'm fifty fifty on this, you know. Doesn't you know this doesn't doesn't touch this doesn't touch the original whatsoever because because that film is a a, a, cla a classic of the classic disaster film of the seventies you know has this film has a much more bigger star studded cast than this film though even though you got a few good actors like Kurt Russell and Richard Dreyfuss you know honestly honestly I wish um. I wish I, did, I wish uh, I wish this I wish this gets a much more higher rating on on IMDb on or Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not sure what it has on Rotten Tomatoes though, but if it does, I wish I wish both of those ratings would be wish would, would be much more higher than this though. Cuz like I said, this is an underrated I consider this an underrated sequel, you know. And it deserves a it deserves a lot more than, you know, more res more love and respect, you know. If people if people like if people like this more than this if you if you like if you like this more than this that's fine that's your opinion you know you're you're entitled to your own opinion like I said I'm all about I'm all about opinions you know so uh so like I said this so back and back back to this and so like I said I'm I'm fifty fifty on this. Positive. So here's I'll, I'll give you I'll give you the, I'll give you my my first fifth my positive fifty fifty side. You know, on the other fifty fifty I'll give you my positive stuff. Um, I liked Kurt Russell. It was too. It was I liked Kurt Russell. I liked Richard Drivers. Um, I I especially I like his how his character was. You know, that was kind of plays like a funny kind of funny kind of character. You know, um, Kevin Dillon. He says that one funny line. You know, I was like, oh, you shooting at us? You know. Um, I did like that little bit, I like that little bit of the score, you know, as, that, that little piece of score as the ship was sinking. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, Richard Drivers, he lived, you know, and, uh, yeah, I thought the effects, the effects was pretty decent, you know, especially how, especially for a $160 million budget, you know, for holding that Guinness World, holding that Guinness World Record, you know. There's some of this, you know, like when the when the when the ship gets turned over, how the ship gets the ship gets how the ship gets turned over in the original film is much better than this, you know, because most of this was mostly CGI, I know, I know, most of this was CGI. Um, although I do kind of disagree with this um re re review right here from Pete Hamann, Maximum, a uh, non-stop action film that doesn't come up for air. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's non-stop action. I wouldn't say that. But, but um, I wouldn't say anything. I don't think this is this. this I don't think you know this is considered an. I wouldn't consider this an action film because it's just it's just you know people trying to survive survive a, a disastrous situation. You know. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say this is a non-stop action film. Uh, now one now one of my uh, negative uh, f uh, uh one of my negative feedbacks um my negative stuff I would say Josh Lucas I would say I would say he 
I was wish I was I wish that Kurt Russell was 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 the lead instead of Josh Lucas, and I wish I wish it was I wish it was the other way around where, um, Kurt Russell would live and not George Lucas. I know it's kind of being a little harsh though, but I'm just I was making it. I just wish it was Kurt Russell instead of Richard instead of Josh Lucas. Um, Josh Lucas is he did like I said he doesn't touch the, he doesn't touch on the on the leadership that Gene Hackman did you know. Gene Hackman and Miles gives a Miles better performance on trying to get his group his group out of the, out of the ship more than Josh Lucas does. Um, and I would say I wouldn't say that the Wolf Wolfgang Pearson he, it was not, he he didn't, he didn't do he he, didn't, he wasn't ter- he was not he was not terrible at directing this film you know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say he he was he was never he was never he he never did a terrible job at directing this film because he's done good stuff you know like in the line of fire Air Force One Outbreak all um a, uh, the the perfect storm I thought was okay I was I'm not I'm not a big fan of Troy though but he 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 didn't he didn't do a terrible job at direct at direct at directing this film he didn't do a terrible job um. And it's also this is not, not only did he produce the film, but it's also there's a person here, um, Akivia Goals, Akivia Goldsman. He's produced on a lot of stuff. He's produced. He's produced on. Um, he produced on a few films that I know of. Um, but I know. I know. I know. Um, um, let me see here. Um, yeah, um, Akivia, Akivia Goldsman. He's produced. He's produced on. He's been a writer, producer on a lot of stuff, though. Like he, he he was writer on Batman Forever and Batman Robin, Deep Blue Sea, A Beautiful Mind, this film, The Da Vinci Code, I Am Legend, Jonah. Well, he he wrote he was produced on Jonah Hex. Um, this is executive producer on Par- um, Paranormal Activity one. Uh, not one. He was a executive producer on Paranormal Activity two, three, and four. But um, the, the you know, he was, and I also looked up. He was he um he recently he directed, he dr- his fir- his first film that he directed was um that was released like like last week or so um that new film with Colin Farrell um Winter's Tale, it was it was the first that's the first it's the first it's the first it's the first, it's the first film that he's directed at TV TV Goldsman, but it's bomb but it's bomb badly right now. That film is not as I've seen has been bought, bombing badly, you know, Winter's Tale. But he's he's been he's written uh, he's written uh, TV Goldman, he's produced and write wrote on good on some good films and some bad films. But like I, like, like I said, um, Wolfgang Pearson he didn't do a terrible job at directing at directing this film. For 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 mostly like a loser a, a remake for of of a classic disaster film my all time my all time favorite disaster film he didn't do that terrible job though but like I said I'm 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 fifty I'm fifty fifty on this so and so but it didn't it didn't it didn't do well at the box office in the mostly in the U S maybe though but it was it's 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 on the list of one of the biggest one of the biggest box office bombs though but. Well, um, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's just features, there, there's only features of the making of the movie and the trailer, and that's it, so, I don't know what I'm going to say, so that, so that's, um, so that's, uh, Poseidon, the 2006 remake, um, if I were to, if I check, I would, uh, hands, it's hands down I pick these two, it's always hands down I pick these two are better than this, though, like I said, it's more, plus I, it's mostly more, Especially more on this. This is much more better than than the remake, you know. So recap: absolute classic, my all-time favorite disaster, my all-time favorite disaster film. This I absolutely do enjoy. A really, a really underrated sequel that deserves more love and respect, you know. And this, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fifty-fifty on this. It's not one of the fifty-fifty is one. Of the, no, it's, it's not one of the by far not not the best remake. Or just another remake that didn't need to be made, but you know what? Can you, what can you do though? So I'm just so I'm fifty fifty on I'm just fifty fifty on this. So so that's my so that's that completes my little franchise of 
the Poseidon, the Poseidon franchise, you know. So, so, so thanks, so, so thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. See you on the next. See you on the